So I've spent the last 20 years essentially in medical education, but it's constantly changing. You can't set and forget. You've got to look at the trends that are happening in your workforce. You've got to look at what's going on in the health system. You look, need to look at those that you're recruiting. And what we have an opportunity here with is that revision moment, that chance to take breath, have a look, and make sure that we are providing the environment for every student to be the best doctor that they can be. We've had literally hundreds uh, engaged in this because a, a medical program is a complex um, endeavour. Our vision for the new curriculum, I mean of course UQ currently has a very strong, dependable curriculum, but this is a fantastic opportunity to build on what's great there. Curriculum uh, reviews are sort of a once in a generation opportunity to reimagine uh, what uh, the future graduates of a medical program should look like. To work through what's worked, uh, and what needs to be improved and as a community uh, with the energy that this comprehensive university can bring to bear reimagine uh, what our medical program needs to look like so we can ensure that our graduates are best placed to solve these wicked problems. As a graduate of UQ I'm extremely proud of UQ and its history. We have wonderful teachers, we have wonderful facilities, we have wonderful curriculum but it is an opportunity for us to strut our stuff and uh, show what a good university UQ is. Patient profiles are changing and patient expectations are changing, but this gives us an opportunity to be world leaders in designing our program to, to meet the needs of that changing population. We've been wide, we've been far, we've got lots of great ideas. We've obviously had a period where we were not working as actively on the project because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're now coming back um, up to full operation and we're starting to really crystallise those and, and work on the high level design. We're now ready to get on and get what needs to be done done in order to set ourselves up for a new curriculum starting in 2023. The nice thing about the opportunity we now have with the curriculum redesign is that we can teach in a more integrated way using the clinical context as our teaching room, our laboratory, and everything that is, uh, that's involved in delivering good care needs to be taught integrated with delivering that care. I think one of the things that really excites me about uh, renewal of the program is not just bringing it into the present, but trying to look into the future, where will things go. Over recent time, the advances in medicine, clinical medicine, have been extraordinary. I'm excited about how we prioritise all of the knowledge in this space and how we distill it into a four-year postgraduate course to produce the very best graduates. What really excites me is the potential for innovation. You know, we have a, an opportunity here to really bring our medical school into the 21st or 22nd century. Everyone that's involved in this program is kind of driven by the same goal of producing the best medical graduates that UQ can offer. And this project has kind of just put a framework to that. Yes, the MD program's got a wonderful legacy, but things keep changing and the evidence keeps building. We want to be stepping in time with that evolution of um, the medical education, what the research says about that. So we have this fantastic opportunity to be really infusing that, those insights to make it even better, uh, a better program for our students and a better program for our community.